Mr. Chancellor, Chair of the Board of Governors, Madam President, graduates, and honored guests. I am deeply humbled and honored to introduce Thomas R. Lutet. Thomas is a member of the Moose Cree First Nation, whose traditional territory is located on the southwest side of James Bay in Northern Ontario. Thomas lives his life in service to others. He is an elder, firekeeper, teacher, pipe carrier, role model, lodge keeper, volunteer, and mentor. Thomas demonstrates exemplary integrity, wisdom, humility, and leadership. Thomas, with his characteristic modesty, describes himself simply as a helper to the people. I met Thomas last year when walking with our sisters, a commemorative art installation honoring missing and murdered Indigenous women, girls, and two-spirit people was presented on campus. Inside Carleton University's teepee, Thomas established a ceremonial space where he cared for the sacred fire, led pipe ceremonies, and greeted, smudged, and talked to thousands of visitors from campus and beyond. Thomas is a survivor of Canada's residential and foster care systems. He spent 10 years from the age of five at residential schools in Fort Albany, Ontario, and Fort George, Quebec, and then three years in foster homes throughout Ontario. Inside the teepee at Carleton, Thomas shared his traumatic childhood experiences at residential school. As he has done on so many occasions, over decades, and with profound courage and sensitivity, Thomas speaks the truth of his past. In so doing, he speaks the truth of Canada's history. But he does not dwell there. Thomas has dedicated himself to building and sharing the language, culture, and traditional practices that the residential school system was designed to extinguish in him. He is deeply committed to supporting, teaching, and encouraging others on their own journeys. Thomas is a graduate of the Ontario Native Education Counseling Association's Counselor Training Program. He provides invaluable support and guidance to universities and colleges and to such organizations as the Wabano Centre for Aboriginal Health, the Assembly of First Nations, and the Native Women's Association of Canada. As Thomas said to me recently, he loves life, he loves his work, and he takes great joy in giving back to people what he has learned. Mr. Chancellor, in recognition of his wise leadership, and gracious service to the community as an elder, and the inspiration he offers those he mentors and those privileged to witness his actions, which constitute an honorable model of personal reconciliation and education, I request that you confer the degree of Doctor of Laws honoris causa upon Thomas R. Lutet. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Governors, and upon recommendation by the University Senate, I confer upon you the degree of Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. <laughs> I ask Dr. Jim Albert, our singer Laura Gagnon, the students presenting the Star Blanket, Amber Ask Chief, and Shane Paulson to come forward. You're looking good, Thomas. <laughs> it's me. <clears throat> We're about to do a very special ceremony that the university wants to bestow on Thomas as well as a doctorate. We're going to do it in a very traditional way, and we're going to wrap Thomas in a blanket. 
and the blanket ceremony is very special, very powerful. We have many ways of honoring members of the community, but this is a special one. And do you want to take the blanket over and they'll, they'll open it up and then they're going to wrap Thomas in it, one woman on one side and man on the other, and they're going to wrap that, that blanket around them. And basically it's an honoring ceremony. In the communities, people are seen as being capable of doing things and then they get asked in that community to do them, to take on that responsibility. So we're honoring Thomas today for taking on that responsibility. He's taken on it for responsibility in many places, but including here at Carleton University, but in the community and, and a number of other places. So we're now honoring him with the wrapping of this blanket around him for, for the way he's carried out those responsibilities. The whole for the song. Uh, we're now going to do an honor song and I'll ask you to stand for the honor song. Amber Aschief and Shane Paulson. And now Dr. Lutit will present the convocation address. Bache, Bojo, Hani, Sego, Wakwai, Metekana Bell, Desenkas, Moso, and Dordem. Egomagamina, Nota, Wigshemanito, 
Mr. Chancellor, Chair of the Board, Madam President, graduates, and honored guests and elders. Miigwech to the Algonquin Nation for allowing us to be here today on their unceded land. It is a pleasure to join these fine young people in celebrating their success. This day, this day marks the conclusion of this part of their lives and represents much hard work on their part. As they leave university, they have the opportunity to do something special with their lives. They can volunteer and give back to society. They can reach out to their they can reach out to their to share their learnings through tutoring, mentoring, and serving others. Not everyone has the opportunity to attend university. They will seek jobs in whatever fields they pursue. They can also make a difference building a better economy, better schools, healthcare, inventing new technology, supports like cell phones, computers, sensors that enable people to live on their own longer. They will have families and friends and must be responsible to assist them in, in times as in stormy weather. When they put their hearts and minds to achieve these goals, they will discover personal happiness and ful fulfillment. In conclusion, I would like to thank the university for this humbling award. Thank you to my wife and family for their support over the years. They share in this honor with me today. Thank you.